Now, Bristol University welcomed one of the country's finest actors into its fold today. It's uh, that man, Timothy West, who grew up in Bristol and has a real fondness for our part of the world. He was awarded an honorary degree for his services to the world of acting. Amanda Parr caught up with him after the ceremony. An honour richly deserved. Timothy West has played an important role in supporting Bristol's theatrical life for more than half a century. Today, he looked back at his career in photos and artefacts kept by the university. He grew up in the city, soaking inspiration from the landscape. He'd often skip school just to drink it in and feed his already vibrant imagination. I used to get on my bicycle and go down to the docks and watch the timber being unloaded and... Um, I used to imagine myself um, in the past, you know, being Brunel or Cabot or W.G. Grace or somebody. You know. He's had a long relationship with the Bristol Old Vic, performing, serving on its board, and most recently his King Lear helped mark the theatre's 250th anniversary. I love the theatre. I think it is the perfect theatre. It's a theatre where you, you are acting, you're telling a story, in a room with people. You're, you're, you're not saying that's them and this is us here. Timothy and his wife, Prunella Scales, are well known for their love of canals. They make documentaries about their journeys on narrowboats. They even took me for a spin once. This was 10 years ago. They love the Kennet and Avon and have passionately campaigned to save it. Something that I think we ought to be very proud of as a nation because, and it was really, I think the thing that set a lot of canal reclamation uh, ideals all over the country in motion. They thought, if, if the Kennet Navon can do it, we can do it. He also cares deeply about historic piers, visiting Burnbeck Pier recently, an old haunt of his youth, and hoping to secure its future. It's clear he spent a lot of time helping, nurturing, encouraging and creating here in the West. Today was a chance to recognise that and say thank you. In return, he urged graduates to encourage others to learn, read, debate, so the decisions they make in life are properly informed. And I think they have a mission, and I think they're conscious of the mission. And I wish them enormous luck. Amanda Parr, BBC Points West.